we are going to create a t-shirt from scratch based on a given specification by using the new guidelines feature and the pen tool. The guidelines button is located on the 2D window toolbar at the top of the 2D window. Clicking the icon toggles the display of the guidelines ruler. Note that the units displayed are set according to whatever system units are selected in our preferences. Let's create a grid of lines based on the measurements we have in our specification. First, we easily add a vertical guideline by dragging from the vertical ruler to anywhere in the 2D display. Next, we go to the context view to use clone by offset and add more guidelines. The neckline is first, the second line is for the shoulder, and the last vertical line is for the bust. Next, we add horizontal lines in the same way. First, we drag the guideline from the ruler, and then we clone it. The first horizontal line we clone is for the shoulder slope. The next line is for the neck drop. Now, a line for the armhole. And last, a line for the t-shirt's total length. Our grid is ready. The last stage of preparation is to lock the guidelines to make sure we don't accidentally move this nice grid we just created. We right-click the 2D window background, then select Lock Guidelines. Now using the pen tool and the new Snap to option, Snap to Guideline, let's create the t-shirt pattern pieces. We create a shape which is the front pattern piece. We curve the armhole line. Then we curve the neckline. Half of the front piece is now ready. Let's create a diagonal guide to help us with the sleeve shape. There are two ways of starting to do this. One is by selecting a line. The second way is by selecting two points. Then we right click on whichever selection we've made and click Create Guideline. Now we have a guideline that matches the angle of the shoulder. Next, we clone the line. And we turn it into a perpendicular line by selecting the 90 degree option in the context view. You can see in the context view, there is one more option to flip the guideline. We want to snap this line to the shoulder point. Let's continue to add lines to the grid to help create the sleeve. Using the pen tool, we draft the sleeve pattern shape. The grain line in the new sleeve shape is at the wrong angle. Selecting the shoulder guideline, we can see its angle is 167.2 degrees. Let's change the grain line by calculating the correct value in the context view. Let's hide all guidelines so we can have a clearer view to change the sleeve angle to be 90 degrees. By right-clicking in the background of the 2D window, we can then click to hide the guidelines. The shape still needs fine-tuning. We'll select the cap point and move it down 2.5 centimeters. Now, let's curve the shape. Now we are ready to create the full symmetrical shape for the sleeve and the front. There are two more options for guidelines in the context view, slice and trace as internal line. Let's select the front piece and one of the guidelines and trace it as an internal line. We're almost done. Now we want to hide all the guidelines which are no longer necessary. Now let's create the back piece. At this point, we'll organize our pattern pieces before going into arrange mode and create the neck binding. Let's arrange the pieces in their clusters. We stitch the shirt. We're using the single stitch to start. and then the multi-stitch. If needed, don't forget to cancel the symmetry when using multi-stitch. We can stitch in the 2D and 3D window.
The t-shirt looks great. Let's look at it without the stitched pins. Nice and clean. The t-shirt is missing artwork, so let's add some. This artwork is an old logo from a previous collection and we need to revise it throughout the collection. We have two options. First, we could use the Edit Externally feature, editing the artwork but leaving the original source file untouched. Second, we could edit the source file, and with this feature enabled, we would automatically be given the option to update the artwork in all the files that contain this artwork. By selecting the new Detect Changes option in our Preferences, we can easily ensure that this artwork is connected to the source texture file. Now all changes to source texture files are automatically detected, and we are prompted to update to the latest version. After closing and reopening the file, a pop-up message asks us if we want to modify the artwork. Let's update. The artwork is changed to the latest version. Our garment is ready.